large language models work on huge data sets. These data sets are labeled. Developing high performance artificial intelligence systems depends on accurately labeled data. If the data is not labeled, it means garbage in, garbage out, and the performance of large language model will be not only suboptimal, but totally wrong, or maybe full of hallucinations at the least. One of the key role in a correctly performing LLM is of data labelers and annotators. Stanford computer scientist Pai Fai Li was an early pioneer in crowdsourcing data labelers. In 2007, she led a team at Princeton University to scale the number of images used to train an image recognizer from tens of thousands to millions. To get the work done, this team hired thousands of workers via Amazon's Mechanical Turk platform, and the result was ImageNet, which is a popular key computer vision data set. Now, various other companies have joined the foray, and now they are offering the jobs for data labelers and annotators across the world, which includes Centaur Lab, Sergi, Remotas, and various others. Google also has some team which does this sort of data labeling and annotating. And Google's base wage for contractors who evaluate search results and ads is around $15 per hour. Now, it's not as rosy and simple and futuristic as you would have thought. It is a very taxing and very hard job and very sporadic too. There are various things which you need to be aware of. So don't leave your day job as of yet just to think that you'll be made redundant and jump on this bandwagon. The pay scale for data labelers and annotators vary widely. It really depends where you are located and what sort of things you are labeling. For instance, if you are in a developing country, then your pay rate could be as low as $1 per hour. Or if you are in a country like Australia or New Zealand or even in United States, it could range from 20 to 25 US dollar per hour. Also remember that some tasks in data labeling require specialized knowledge and not just your you should be computer savvy and know some English. Those tasks which require sound judgment and a bit of a technical expertise, it can pay well. Even I have seen per task, people have been paid $500 per task on various platforms. You have to be able to prove your security credentials if you are working on a sensitive data labeling job. And most of the companies who are building these data labeling data sets require high level of confidentiality. So that is one of the key things. Also, one of the most common complaints around data labeling and annotating job is that often the instructions given to the people are not clear enough. So people struggle to correctly label the data. For example, maybe the instruction is to label an actual shoe data in the data set but the data would be given for a toy or any cartoon character so that really messes up the data also work schedules in this job are very unpredictable and uncertain workers don't know when the next assignment will arise or how long it will last whether the next work will be dull or of any value or if even if it will be coming or not so um, if my tip in order to be good at this and stay on the top is to join few of the WhatsApp groups of data labelers and annotators and you can search them on web, uh, WhatsApp. And then there you can find out okay, which work is going on, which company to avoid, which work to avoid and which, which pays well. So I hope that this was useful if you're looking to get into this field of data labelers and annotators. If you're already doing it or want to share your thoughts, please do in the comment section. And if you like the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.